Hello students, in the last video I have explained you about the structure of plasma membrane. So in this video in detail I will explain about the functions of plasma membrane. So now coming to the first slide, the first function as we all know it protects the cell from its surroundings and extracellular environment and the plant cell poses a wall over the plasma membrane for extra protection and support so that we call it as cell wall and the second important function it is it holds the cell contents the plasma membrane covers the semi fluid uh, protoplasmic contents of the cell and it um, it maintains the individual individuality of the cell so here uh, the outermost covering the plasma membrane here it is expanded you can see a very complex structure where the double membrane it it covers the entire cell contents and it provides the compartmentalization means the cell it has its own comp uh, that is compartment the cell membrane uh, separates the cells from their external external environment and the cell organelle from the cytosol it helps the cell and their organelles to have their micro environment structure and functional individuality so these are in the first slide i told you about the three function that is protection and the holding of cell contents and compartmentalization okay the next so it has the it does the function of selective permeability what is the selective permeability that is the cell membrane allows only a selected or a specific substance to enter or to pass through the cell and the cell and impermeable to other substances that nature that phenomena we call it as selective permeability so here uh, the gases like oxygen oxygen and carbon dioxide they can diffuse rapidly uh, uh, through the a cell membrane and the solution through the uh, rapidly in the solution through the membranes so here by the simple mechanism of diffusion from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration so these gases they diffuse and the small compounds like water and methane can also easily pass through to this membrane and this amino acid sugars and charge ions they transport with the help of a membrane protein so these are channel proteins okay so diffusion uh, because of gases and uh, the active transport are facilitated transport which happens because of the membrane proteins which are present in the bilayer the size of the molecules which can pass through the plasma membrane is 1 to 15 and strong in their size and this property is responsible for keeping the cell as a individual units and the cell membrane it provides a definite shape it serves as a site of anchorage for the depend uh, for the uh, attachment of cytoskeleton and also this provides a shape a definite shape to the cells especially in animal cells where they are uh, without the cell wall and the organelles the cell membrane delimits or covers all subcellular structures are organelles like nucleus, mitochondria, plastids, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, microbodies. Okay, so here this is the nucleus uh, structure of a cell. Nucleus here where you have a reticular structure. It is the endoplasmic reticulum. Here the Golgi bodies, mitochondria, lysosome, ribosomes. Okay, these are all the cell organelles. They are they are covered by this. The subcellular structures are covered by this plasma membrane and if they protect them from the surroundings and also helps in maintaining the constant internal environment not only this this plasma membrane does the function of cell recognition what is the cell recognition we all experience uh, a blood grouping that is uh, the blood typing we all have a different blood groups this is mainly because of cell recognition that is with the help of glycolipids or glycoproteins on the surface of the plasma membrane they can differentiate the similar cells from the dissimilar ones the foreign substances and the cells material and cell recognition cell recognition is also a one of the function of plasma membrane where it is useful for the tissue formation and that giving a defense against the microbes 
see this is the molecules what I have represented here it is a uh, the plasma membrane of O blood group people this is and the outermost these, these structures they represents the glycoproteins glycoproteins where they are differ in all uh, four blood group people O A B and A B See, I have given here it is N as this structure, this blue color structure, it represents N acetyl galactosamine. This is fucose, N acetyl glucosamine, and galactose. The cell membrane process possesses an antigen that determines the blood grouping, the immune response, acceptance, or rejection of transplant is mainly because of this molecules that graft rejection is by MHC and on the plasma membrane. The next function, it does the function of endocytosis and exocytosis. What is the endocytosis? The bulk intake of materials are the endocytosis occurs through the development of membrane or vesicles are invagination and engulfing. So engulfing where the solid particles when they sit on this plasma membrane, they are pinched off in the form of phagosome. phagosome. Okay, so this is cell eating, it is called as uh, that is phagocytosis and the engulfing engulfing is called endocytosis exocytosis the reverse of endocytosis that is uh, it, uh, the release of waste products and the secretory materials out of the cells with the help of plasma membrane see this is exocytosis where uh, the the particles are suspended in the uh, vesicles and they are uh, pinched off or they are uh, excluded they are uh, they are out in, on the surface of the plasma membrane. This is called exocytosis. And the plasma membrane, it possesses many proteins. We call them as membrane proteins. And these um, many of the proteins are many enzymes are present on the plasma membrane with a wide variety of catalytic activity. Example, bl red blood cell plasma membrane contains several enzymes such as ATPs, that is anion transport protein, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase, protein kinases, aldehyde cyclase, acetylcholine esterase. So, these are all the proteins or the enzymes which are present on the membrane have their specific function. And cell membrane also does the function of cell recognition or cell signaling that is done by receptors. So, receptors on the plasma membrane performs a signal transduction. So, the, the, the message, it may be in the form of hormone that is sensed by the surface of the plasma membrane and the signal is passed by signal transduction converting an extracellular signal into intracellular signal. And the membrane possesses the receptors. The receptors are nothing but the proteins which are present on the surface of the plasma membrane. So they are mainly in the form of like uh, the receptors. They may receive the signal in the form of hormones, neurotransmitters, antibodies and several other biomolecules. Okay. So there are the different uh, 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 pictures which are showing the transport, enzymatic activity, signal transduction, cell cell recognition, intracellular joining and attachment. This is also a, uh, a diagram which is showing the cell, surf cell surface receptors where you have a, this is a receptor molecule and this is a signal which comes only when they are specific, they will bind and this signal, the message is triggered inside the cell. It may be in the form of cell division or their uh, the DNA replication, transcription, etc. And the plasma membrane. It possesses, as I told you, uh, membrane proteins. The carrier proteins for the active transport, it does the function of active transport. They occur inside the cell, uh, cell membrane and control the active transport of substances. For example, the transport of glucose. It is done by the glucose transporters. is named as a carrier protein found in almost all the animal cell membrane and transport glucose across the bilayer of plasma membrane. It is an example of uh, a carrier protein and the active transport which transports glucose. The active transport, it is defined as the movement of molecules across the cell membrane from the region of uh, uh, lower concentration to the region of higher concentration or against the concentration gradient and the active transport, it requires the cellular energy to achieve this movement. So, there are two types of active transport. Primary active transport that you uh, utilizes ATP, adenosine triphosphate and secondary active transport that uses an electrochemical gradient. An example of active transport in human physiology is the uptake of glucose in the intestine. The sodium potassium pump pumping 
inside the uh, neurotransmitter or the neuron cell it is also it uh, pump maintains the potential by moving of sodium ions outside the cell and potassium ions inside the cell so this is a picture which shows the pumping of sodium and potassium with the uh, help of an energy molecule that is ATP getting converted into ADP and not only this this plasma membrane they are extended to form a sheets of cilia or flagella and they, they project it from the cell and they help in the movement that is they are covered by the extension of plasma membrane and they are helpful for the motility cell motility and the plasma membrane they also assist in the, the movement you can see in the lower organism where the undulation pseudopodia or the cell membrane uh, phenomena involved in the cell movement amoeba macrophages and white blood cells move with the help of a temporary organelles like pseudopodia the pseudopodia are the temporary cytoplasmic projections of the cell membrane in which the unicellular protista amoeba and some mammalian cells like fibroblasts they move on the solid surface the wave uh, wave like uh, movement it is called undulation of plasma membrane it is also a uh, considered as the extension of plasma membrane does the function of motility and uh, in the uh, intestinal cells depending upon its function the plasma membrane it is extended to form a finger like projections the, uh, there it is mainly to increase the surface area the intestinal uh, epithelial cells they are involved in the wide variety of functions like increasing the absorption increasing the surface area for absorption secretion and cellular adhesion so these extended uh, projections projections also a functions of plasma membrane and this plasma membrane they communicate they also does the function of communication between the uh, in between the cells so that is done by a cytoplasmic bridges in the plasma desmata or gap junction that exists in between the cells plasma desmata in plant cells and gap junctions in animal cells the so meant for intracellular transport intracellular transport so they are they appear like this the junctions uh, appear like this and these adjacent cells they communicate they uh, pass the communicate with each other that is also a the extended work of plasma uh, in the nerve cells we know that the the, the, tra the transmission of impulse it is done by uh, uh, the terminals of the axon terminals that is by synaptic ends that is uh, that is also a extended uh, region of plasma membrane results in the passage of electrical charges across the plasma membrane helpful in the impulse, impulse transmission okay this is all the summary of uh, the functions of plasma membrane okay so in the next video i'll uh, try to cover up the, uh, the structure and functions of nucleus thank you